Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sayers, back here for the Music Factory Studios. Okay, here's the weird thing. So, I was looking at uh, Slacko, Puppy, Linux. I thought, you know what? That looks pretty cool. It now has UEFI, so I might try it out. I see the direct downloads, which I could do that. That's no big deal. But then I saw all the list of mirrors. Well, Richmond, Virginia is not that far away from me. Why don't I just connect to that? Watch this. Now it wants to open Finder, and I was like, Finder? Why would it want to open Finder? Why wouldn't it want to open my either my torrent uh, downloader or my downloading app, which is Free Download Manager? I thought, well, why not? And then it gives me this. Enter your name and password for the server for Virginia Tech or whatever that is, VCU. I said, well, I'll just do guest and connect. What happens? It opens Finder, right? Just as you would open, say, any uh, other server on a network. Pretty interesting. So I go Puppy Slacko. You've got 32-bit, 64-bit testing. Okay. So I go 64-bit. I double-click. Takes a second to get me there. I'm like, huh, this is pretty interesting. It basically opened up the server. But here's the problem. Would it let me copy it? I don't know. That's pretty interesting. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to, if you're working on a Mac and you're going to download something like this, you definitely need to do this next. Okay. You need to go back to your, any of your other folders, go down here on the left and you can either eject the server from the desktop. If you have uh, connected drives, servers look like connected drives on turned on in finder if you don't then it's going to be on the left side of your finder over here and it's going to say whatever the name of the server is you can just hit the little eject button and it'll disappear i thought that was kind of interesting i want to warn everyone don't do that you got no reason to, to connect your machine to another machine this uh, for an iso just direct download it don't do that what i just did because you don't know what's on the other side of that Here's the interesting part. I don't know if any of these others do that. Let's find out. Okay. This one doesn't do that. That is a United States mirror. Here's a mirror for Australia. It's going to look the same as the USA mirror. Basically, the interface or the screen may look different, but it's not going to connect to a server. Here's Australia. Same. It opens up a new tab. The Netherlands. University of Crete in Greece. This all works fine. It lets you just connect to the server without actually connecting, literally connecting. It just opens it up in a web page like a download link, which is what you normally see with mirrors. But this VCU in Richmond, Virginia thing is a no-no. Don't, don't, don't let any university, I don't care how much you trust them or if it's your alma mater, <laughs> connect to your machine. I did it to show you not to do it okay so the thing is either vcu or puppy linux puppy linux needs to either tell vcu to fix this mirror or tell them to stop all downloads because you don't know what's on the other side of that when you connect it to your machine you just don't okay so if you're going to pick up Puppy Slacko, don't grab the VCU Richmond, Virginia mirror. Just don't. Not a good idea. Just direct download from Puppy Linux or one of the other mirrors that are done correctly. All right, guys and gals. Hope that helps somebody else out. Just be sure to uh, don't connect to that one. It's a bad idea. Even if I try to open it up in another tab, it does the same thing. It wants to open it in Finder as connecting to a, a an outside server. That's kind of weird and a very, very, it's either, th there's just something wrong there. I don't want to label mal intent, but it doesn't look good at all on VCU. So just thought I would throw that out there. And that's all I wanted to say. All right, guys and gals, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all.